with this black, black, blah, 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 bad. Sorry, I can't speak. Bad quality video. And it's back with Leanna into another video, I think. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm just really been having a hard time lately. My bird is sick. I'm not really feeling well. It's my bird, Ollie. She's fighting for her dear life. And I'm like, oh, poor baby. But I don't want to be all sad today. I want to talk about some different kind of things that is just really rubbing me off of YouTube needs to do some shit about it. You know, it needs to be talked more about with these different things that isn't good and they're not Im implying like different rules and stuff and regulations, especially with the children, you know with the exploitation of family vloggers i really don't like family vlogging anymore um and um just with oh i want to talk a little well this would be a different video where i talk about erasing the stigma in the mental disability community because that is a whole different video that is needs to debunk with that but right now i'm debunking the wrong of everything wrong with youtube one family vlogging and the exploitation of children i really don't think i well in the earlier days of youtube it's understandable because things weren't really monetized everything was very wholesome and very not as developed with uh society everything was easier in the early days of youtube it's not much of and a lot of the time to it wasn't as much kids generally because you know we we were well not we but my generation and the millennial generation i guess i considered millennial i fit in more millennial than i do gen z really but to say like you know as gen z is in the internet world gen alpha especially jesus christ but it's just that um with the whole idea of we're just making weird weird stupid videos it's not like a whole makeup skincare routine and we're only 10 years old that's another video for another day it's just like again i'm going through a lot and i can't pinpoint of what i really want to talk about but what I really want to talk about is my disgust of that YouTube isn't really doing anything or is they're taking a very long time until something happens to a child or uh and it's just like why does it have to happen when something when it when someone is in danger or when it's too late like it should be set in when it's the problem but the problem is it's just that having these kids on the internet and then having them to go to school and just still having, I, I understand the screen time thing, but it's just like they're in so influenced like with the whole Sephora and Drunk Elephant and all of that kind of um, thing. And it's just like, I, I didn't really care for makeup until I got into high school. And I think I was, 16 when I really got into like makeup and stuff like that and I don't even wear makeup every day like that and so to see like these kids already having a skin care routine and having a full face of makeup in their 14 scares the living crap out of me and I'm just like they have no it's like I had an awkward stage and I had braces in my awkward stage. That was my awkward stage. Braces. Like, I deleted every freaking pic. I have no pictures. And it kind of su it sucks because it's just like, man, I wish I had... I think I had one picture. But it's like, I wish I had more pictures of me. Um, And I think I still have my old Snapchat where I think... I, but I, I just feel so embarrassed of just... That is just like my whole awkward face me having braces and it's not that it was like people were making fun of me actually people weren't making fun of me when I had braces it was just after I had braces people started bullying the hell out of me and I was just like 
that didn't make sense but okay but it was just i fear for the younger generation growing up to being in an actual adult because they're being adult in their teenage years and it's fault of influencers they don't have anybody to have influence around their age because they had our influencers but we were watching them as we were growing you know like because i'm gonna be 25 next month and so you get the age of when they were 15 16 17 i was 14 15 16 so it's not like i was far off of their age bracket you know and um it just with and they said like you know starting young like they have stalkers and um everything in that sense regarding to their safety and their well-being and having to pay big ass buck money for um security and i'm glad you know that i'm in the situation where i don't have um you know a big following but even with so it's just like still keeping your personal information safety and then these kids not having the boundary of showing where they live and you know and it's just like saying their whole name their whole parents name what their parents and do and it's just like what the heck and then having the little babies and they and it, it's sad for them as well because they can't have the say in well i do want to record or i do or i don't and especially if they don't because they're going to grow up thinking that they have to do this and they don't have to do it and it it kills me with the influencer world with the oh well i'm making home videos and i'm just like okay make the home videos keep them home but you don't have to have millions of fucking people watching what you do on a regular basis because that's weird especially your six-year-old daughter Having 40-year-old 40, 40 men talking about um, your daughter is sexy. Like, that that doesn't phase that, that phase you? What kind of parent are you if you don't think that that isn't... Ex, that, that's acceptable? Or am I, am I wrong, right? So it's just really of an effect of actually and they have youtube kids i get it but it's just like it's not really much because they could get curious and want to look up stuff you know i mean i can't be blamed you know i was a curious child as well too searching up stuff that i shouldn't be looking but you know it's okay <laughs> it's not okay but i mean i'm just saying like wandering eyes but it's still it's just with just the pressure of influencing and i'm not even an influencer and i'm saying this to generally feel like you have to have a particular you have to play a particular role and to especially a family and especially you have the disrespectful kid, the funny kid, the real respected kid, or, and I really don't like the adoption, um, content, because it's just like, exper uh, like, spreading awareness, like, we get it, we get it, but it's just like, your adoption didn't fully go through, so why, why are you having the chance of ruining your child's image and maybe they don't want to share you, their story i mean really they don't it's not to you it's to them because it's what they went to went through like why why are you uh, why are you uh, uh aware that you know you're sparing spreading their awareness when okay i get it your privilege but why are you making money off of it and you already have money cool but why are you making money off of the problem unless get it if you if you're um contributing back to the adoption um 
company, that's great if you're spending your money like that. But if you're just selfish and, you know, making content off of the adoption and the child and dating a life of adopted child, like what? <laughs> Being parents for 24 hours. I I really hate now that like, okay, in the beginning when I was younger, 16, 17, not even 17. I think more so, I think more so starting last year, I kind of stopped watching family vloggers because I was really more of an Ace Family kind of type of per, uh, fan. I was in a stand. Like, I I like watching their vlogs, but, you know, everything that happened now and they went along and together. But um, I can't stand Austin. I'm sorry. I was not. I was more for Catherine the kids. I, I can't stand men like that. I really just, I, I have my fist in the, like, I have my neck, my hand, really just wanting to, <laughs> allegedly. But anyways, <laughs> but on the topic of just, like, really, like, why isn't, why? Like, the main question is, why aren't they doing, and then especially, like, with the whole Colleen situation, and she's playing the victim, and it's, oh, me, oh, my, I'm the problem, all lies and and it's just okay if they're all lies and everybody's seen this and i've been seeing this from the beginning like make a video debunking why are all these accusations or all these stories are lies like if you could say why are these lies we would be like all right cool but if you're just being the victim and and just like and this is one of situations like okay so maybe youtube is finally gonna do something no they allow this woman black back on the platform and and allowing her to be the victim when she's the problem. I really can't stand people playing the victim when they're the problem. Like, when are you going to take accountability when you're wrong in a situation? Like, why do you always have to throw hints, throw dags, throw assaults, throw, um, poke the bear to get a reaction for people and then for it to have the comments, uh, what is it? Have the comments limited for your liking so you can say, oh, people are just wanting the podcast back. Like, I didn't even know the woman had, I mean, she started a podcast, I think, with Trish, but with everything that happened with her and what she was doing, which was just so disrespectful. And you wanted to call her a friend, and, and then that's how you treat your friends. And I'm thinking to myself, like, I really must be a bad person because nobody likes me. Nobody can't talk to me or have, have a conversation. But I'm not as bad as a person like that to do what she did to her. Because that's on a whole nother fucking level of audacity. And then and she, and she's playing the victim. Like, oh, well, I lost my job. Get a real fucking job. This, this YouTube isn't a job. I mean, it has good benefits, but YouTube isn't a nine to five job, isn't a corporate job, isn't a um, job that provides insurance. Uh, this is like a side business, a side thing to do if you're bored, like what I'm doing, or just want to have random thoughts and conversations that nobody listens to you, you know? Before people be like, oh, this is my job. This is what a day like. Okay, I get it to be influencer, content creator, blah, 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 blah. But to have no other experience besides this, like, to go off the flim and be like, oh, I was a, in, I was a influencer overnight deal. Like, you got lucky kind of thing. And you have nothing on your resume where, you know, God forbid if the app crashes or if internet isn't no longer a thing or the world blows up or whatever, what are you going to do then? Well, if the world blows up, we're all going to die. But still, it's just the logic of thinking. Like, what if the worst happens? Okay, YouTube dies, then what? Then what are you going to do? And if you're in, into a uh, controversial cancellation like Colleen, your your um, career is dead, then what are you going to do? I mean, you can always change your name, 
But that's not going to do nothing because then people be like, you kind of look like that person, you know? So you're still good, always going to be reminded of what you did. And you're going to think that's okay. And why is not why is that okay for to have it, to have influence like that? Because I wouldn't want my child to, uh, to look at that and to have parents to think, to think that it's okay to have to still after everything that comes out and my child is still um looking at that I would I would take my child's stuff away because I wouldn't want my child to be influenced by that thinking that they're the victim in in they're the problem of the cause and they want to demon demonetize um what what happened or they it didn't happen that way then what way happened so we can know but nobody wants to tell the fucking truth if it's lies tell the truth right or am i wrong i want to know i was like seriously because it just boggles my mind with how these entitled influencers just like colleen um can do these things and think that they could get away with it with no repercussions and it's just like when is youtube going to do those things when people are like that when they do have pred predatorial um people that come in and thinking um and they could take advantage of their of kids and um not having the protection for the kids even if the kid decides to um want to do their own youtube but it's not it's not like they do these things and then it, it what boggles what hates what i hate is in the comments or when people have judgment and be like well the child shouldn't be dressing like that well why is a 40 year old man looking at a, a six-year-old like that or commenting like that like i said a 40 year old man should not be calling a child sexy so why does the child have to change for the predator when it, when the predator should be locked up, should be away. Like, of course, we make our decisions for our happiness, but why does our happiness have to be sacrificed for creepy people? I want to know. Because it just, it, it's kind of like cherry picking also and like also with religion as well too. They want to pick and choose what, what, what's a sin and what's not correct, but it's okay for them to do it because they already learned what, what it is. But it's like, we have to be perfect for God and we can't do no wrong and all that shit. And it's just like. I don't want to go to heaven if I have to change myself, change my flaws, or my flaws or sins, just to go to heaven, when heaven isn't even guaranteed. Like, can we be realistic? Because really, we're just going six feet under. It's not like we're getting buried in the fucking sky. Like, come on now. I don't know. Those are just my random thoughts of just everything wrong with YouTube and it needs to be changed. I feel like I, I should go into a deeper kind of thing, but that's just surface level <laughs> of my idea if you want to like if you want me to like go over like any family channels i i mean i've always had like i always wanted to cover like stuff like that but i really don't know how m my mind is because i i have tons of freaking interests and um i want to kind of narrow it down so it doesn't confuse my channel a lot because again i'm also doing the budgeting thing and uh, stuff like that and so it's just like, I don't want to overwhelm people with my channel, <laughs> but I want to keep it where I can actually 
explore all my interests because this is my business portfolio and so I, I have to grow somehow you know but anyways like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video let's have the conversation below in the comment section and i don't know i could i could respond if it gets enough response i could also respond to your comments in the next video as well too so